what is up YouTube it is Showtime and I am back with it again in another video now in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys the number one six foot nine inside center build arguably the best inside center build for you guys to be using updated I did drop a version of this one probably around a month ago now and this one is significantly better um, a lot of people have a there's a lot of controversy around you know the best inside some people like the seven foot some people like the six nine i've even recently uploaded a six foot eight version i personally do think the six nine is the best uh the last one that i post posted which was a month ago is slightly different from this one i even want to say kind of major there's a little bit of a major difference uh this one is better in my opinion so i'm going to be posting this one for you guys please do leave a like comment subscribe let's get straight into it so for the template you guys want to go power forward go six foot nine for the weight you guys want to go 254 and then also go max on the wingspan this is the template for the build now we're going to do the tick slow down the video pause it do what you guys got to do the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring our driving dunk up to a 73 and we're going to go ahead and bring our standing dunk up to an 85. now a lot of people may ask me why is you're finishing so low for someone that's considered an inside center build now someone who has an inside center build already um it has that mine the one that i have uh because i have two i have multiple the other one that i have actually has a 96 driving dunk and that's the one that i posted a while back now the reason why i do not recommend you do that is because when you're playing competitively or you're playing on the threes court there's not very many opportunities or scenarios where you guys will actually be putting that to use you guys are gonna have this high driving dunk and barely using it as someone who plays stage who plays a lot of 3v3 and has played inside a lot this year i'm rarely using it and it's really a waste of time so if you want a highlight build a build that's going to dunk on people you guys want to learn how to use the dunk meter i would make my other one that has a 96 driving dunk maybe i'll leave a link in the description for it but i did post it a while back but for competitive re reasons for 3v3 if you're not trying to get clips if you're not trying to get highlight dunks if you're not trying to create content this is the way you should make it and use your ticks in a smart way so 73 drumming dunk is going to allow you guys to get post or bronze and it's pretty much all you guys need because you guys are not really dunking on anybody you guys are just getting slips here and there playing as an inside playing as a big man and the same for your standing dunk now the reason you really can go 82 or uh because i believe it's 81 or 82 it's 81 so you guys can get rise up on silver when you're an inside standing dunk is more prevalent more important that's what you'll be doing most of the time i haven't had an 85 because there's actually one more standing dunk animation that you unlock at 85 so that's why i have my at an 85 and you guys are also going to as i mentioned get that rise up on silver which is important and that's pretty much it for the finishing don't go overkill on the killing don't uh you don't go overkill on the finishing don't use something don't give yourself points for something you know you won't use and that's just something i'm learning and to be wiser with the way i make my builds and we'll move on so for the shooting we have nothing because this is not a shooting build and for the pass accuracy you want to have it at a 75 this is going to give you break starter and dimer on silver when you're an inside it's more important that you guys have a uh, good passing ability because you guys will be doing a lot of passing I, I see a lot of people they do the body block with l2 and then they wait for their guard to dex and you know they, they dime off of that so there's a lot of passing as an inside um it's also very controversial as to why people make seven foot insides which i will be posting soon because that's arguably even better you know depending on your play style um those insides get like a 94 pass accuracy and being able to have dimer and break starter is very overpowered on the inside because all those second chance points when you get a rebound and you pass it back out dimer is going to be put to use all every time when you get a defensive rebound and you need to throw a break starter those badges are being used it's going to help space the floor and your passing ability becomes more important because your game is limited especially because you're not shooting so 75 is good for a 69 if i was a seven foot which is the next best thing i would probably have it way higher but 75 is enough now for the defense um i have my perimeter defense at an 84 and i have my steel at an 85 now the one thing i will say about the 6.9 is i wish the threshold was a bit better for these if you could get like a higher perimeter well really 84 is all you need um you really don't need um more than that uh, but it'd be it'd be cool i think especially for the steel if i could have got a 91 steel on a six foot nine that probably would have made it better the max this goes to is only a 90 um, i like having my steel at a 91 for that gold glove but we're working you know you got to work with what you get and you get an 85 steel and you're trading it in for something for other things that make this build even better now for the block you guys want to go 84 that's going to give us the paint patroller on silver and then for the rebound this is really what separates the build this is the reason why people make this build in the first place and why people go six foot nine is for the 
96th offensive rebound. Now, if you have or when you do get your cap breakers, I 100% recommend you guys bring your offensive rebound to a 99. It's very, very important that you guys have a 99 rebound. That's going to give you guys access to rebound chaser and box out beast on legend. It's very important. That's the reason people make the build. The offensive rebound is single-handedly the most important thing or the most OP thing a big man can have. Those second chance opportunities is what you guys have to capitalize on as an inside. Um, you guys, you guys are not shooting much. You guys are already limited on the offense and the spacing on the court is already hard with you. So the most important thing you can do is get those rebounds and give your, your team second chance points uh, through offensive rebound. So the minute you get your cap breakers, put three of them on your offensive rebound for your rebound chaser and your box up beast to be legend. Very important. That's something that six foot seven and six foot eight builds do not get. And that's why people go six foot nine or seven foot for their insides. Now for the uh, speed, I have this all the way up at an 80. I wish the speed threshold could be higher too. That would obviously make the six foot nine so much better. You know, these poppers out here have an 80, anywhere from 85 to an 88 speed usually, which is very, very good. Their movement is very good, especially on defense. That's why I still think, you know, that's why I like poppers. Um, but the speed is at an 80 and the agility, you guys can go 74. I wish the agility could have been 76. The threshold could be better. Um, but for on ball menace on silver, but if you do that, you'd have to give up having a 99 offensive rebound, which is not worth it. And then with the strength, you guys can go 95 for that brick wall on <clears throat> Hall of Fame, which is very important, very needed. And then the vertical on 90. That's what really makes the build broken. What makes this build broken is the combination of having a 99 old board. You guys are going to have legend, box out beast, and rebound chaser. Oh, and let me not mention so that, uh, let me not forget to mention if you guys, so you guys can get the box out beast on legend. When you guys get your cap breakers, make sure you guys put your cap breakers three on offensive rebound for a 99. Put one on strength so that you guys get a 96 strength. You need a 96 strength to unlock box out beast on legend. And then with the one extra cap breaker, you can put that on whatever you guys please that is completely up to you but it's important that you guys put three on your offensive rebound for a 99 offensive rebound and one on your strength so that you guys can get access to box out beast on legend the vertical is really broken like you really don't even need a vertical because you're so tall and you're taller than most centers but having it is just going to make you broken literally no one is going to get a single rebound over you that is shorter than you it's going to be next to impossible you're able to compete with seven foots while still maintaining a fast build that's why i would probably use this um, over a seven foot but seven foots are broken it's really even hard to say that because seven foots are literally broken and i plan on dropping a video if i haven't already by the time i drop this on the seven foot inside center builds for 3v3 so this is pretty much the build we do have a, a few extra ticks here you guys can use them where you guys see fit maybe just throw them on the defensive rebound throw the rest on your free throw and there you guys have it you guys have the number one six foot nine inside center build for 3v3 comp 3v3 reasons and purposes Man, between this and the seven foot, those are the two very best inside builds you guys can make for 3v3 right now. Um, this is a great build. I personally have made this build. If I haven't already, because I'm just making these, these videos in advance and I drop them when I see fit, I will definitely have uh, gameplay, or if not, if I already had it, using this build. Um, amazing build, especially for 3v3. Great for the stage. It is the two-way interior threat. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It is greatly appreciated. And with that, I will see you guys in the next one.